I'm a 2015 fellow of the Robert Bosch Academy, and my interests include uh, Energiewende uh, worldwide, uh, the transition to the distributed use of benign renewable energy resources, uh, but also I'm, I'm interested in the built environment, how we make buildings that are um, very low resource consumptive, but very comfortable and very productive. Environmental issues in, in essentially every society begin with a concern for things that are immediate, things that are happening to your neighborhood, to your town, to your state, that are adversely affecting your health, your children's health. And as you make progress on these local issues, then you begin to turn to national issues and international issues. But the next stage of environmentalism is, is to somehow try to cause people to care as much about human beings on the other side of the world as they do about the people in their own neighborhood. On the top of everyone's list today is climate change. What I fear is that we have not moved quickly enough um, and that now baked into the atmosphere are a series of changes that will um, harm the human prospect in ways that are unavoidable. The climate crisis has a greater potential than perhaps any of the others of permanently diminishing the human prospect, of reducing the carrying capacity of the world for people, of leading to wars over resource scarcity and climate-induced migration. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the issue that we have to address. And, and addressing it means that the world has to do what Germany is doing, making a rapid transition entirely to the efficient use of renewable energy technologies. I'm sort of a zealot. I, I became committed for fundamental reasons uh, to a solar future back in the mid-1960s. I've been pushing aggressively here and there within my country and elsewhere in the hopes of seeing it happen. I'm so much chagrined that it's happening first in Germany rather than the United States, but delighted to be here to, to talk to the people who've made it happen.